Hey Deckers, we probably all know about boot vids right now and being able to put these on your Steam Deck, but how does it sound to be able to browse a library of not just the boot videos, but also the suspend videos and install them directly on your Steam Deck without fiddling around in desktop mode? Or how about changing your Steam Deck screen to make it look like an OLED screen and really up the vibrancy of your games? And finally, what about checking the true status of the games using ProtonDB's plugin so you can know for sure whether a game is actually going to work or not, regardless of the verified Steam status. These are some of my favourite plugins and the ones that I want to talk through to you today after I tell you how to get this installed. This is using something called the Decky Loader, which is a plugin for your Steam Deck. And the first thing you'll need to do is come into your Steam settings under system and enable developer mode and then if you scroll right down to the bottom once that's turned on to get to the developer settings you just want to make sure that this setting here is enabled of cff remote debugging this allows the plugin to inject the plugins into the steam ui and gain all the benefits so at this point you will need to reboot your steam deck if that was not enabled and then switch over to desktop mode once in desktop mode, open your favorite browser and just do a quick Google for Decky Loader. It should be the top result and I'll also link it in the description below if you want to copy it from there. It should be the Steam Deck Homebrew slash Decky Loader GitHub. Scroll down to the README section and copy the installation command here of the curl command under the latest release section. You only want to copy from curl onwards. If you copy anything else from here, it will not work. So make sure you copy the bit that you need. Using a physical mouse is really useful here or something like the re-i4 keyboard. You then want to open console and paste in that command. It will ask you for a sudo password. If you don't know what this is, then you'll be able to set one under settings and then users. If you have set one and you have forgotten this, we have a video called Oh No, What's My Sudo, which will tell you how to go and reset that. But if you never set one in the first place, you can just do this from the system settings users and set your password. And then once you've confirmed it, you'll be able to use that to finish the installation. Once that's done, you can now switch back to game mode and you'll have a new icon under your three dot menu. So pressing the three dots on the Steam Deck, you'll see that we've got a new plug icon right down the bottom. Come into here and hit settings. As I did, you will most likely have an update waiting. So install the update first of all. This may or may not ask you to reboot your Steam Deck and then you can start playing with the plugins. So once you're all up to date, just open that plug section and you'll see this little market icon on the right hand side next to Decky and you'll be able to go through and look at all of the available options. So the three that you saw at the start here are called Vibrant Deck, which is the one that makes your screen look like an OLED screen, and you can play about with the saturation levels. The next one was Proteon DB Badges, and I'll go into these in a little bit more detail shortly. And then the third one, was Animation Changer. This lets you manage your boot videos and your animation videos directly from the Steam Deck. So once they're installed, you'll see them in the Decky menu here on the right hand side. And then we can dive into each one and have a play around. So starting off with the Animation Changer. If you come into here, you can browse all of the animations. You can pick one and it will play the video and you can download the ones that you like the most. Once you've downloaded those, you can see in the animations menu, I've already set up a boot and suspend and the throbber. And you can even get these to shuffle around on your boot. So if you have a range of them, every time you boot, you can have a different one play. Next up, ProtonDB badges. This one's simple. If you don't know what ProtonDB is, it's a user crowdsource library for all of the games on Steam that let you know whether it runs on Linux or Proton, how well it works, and whether people have had to make any tweaks to do so. You can submit your own reports here if you sign up, 
but gold status, for example, is it pretty much works out of the box, even though the deck verified status is unsupported. Proton DB says this one is gold, which means you very rarely have to tweak anything to play it. You just might not be able to get a full 60 frames per second all of the time. Platinum means it runs completely out of the box and it obviously scales down depending on the other statuses. Next up, Vibrant Deck. This one's very simple and you'll see here, this was Trifox, which is quite a vibrant game anyway. Looks quite good on the Seam Deck, but if I dive into Vibrant Deck and change the saturation level, I'll up it to 150, suddenly everything looks much better. This changes the saturation levels all in sync, so it really does make your screen look like an OLED screen at around 150, and obviously you can tweak this to your favorite, but you can just see just how much difference that makes over the default. So play away at your will. I know loads of people have been really excited about this one, and it really does make a huge impact. But you'll see when I dial it back down, now it looks very flat and boring. So if you do play these style of games, then that Vibrant deck really makes a big difference. So there you have it. They are my must-have plugins and how to install Decky Loader on Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below if you have been using these or whether you're going to be diving in anytime soon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.